Hello guys, this is Ish at Ish's Tactical Solutions and today we're going to do a review on my Steiner scope here, the M5XI 5 to 25 would have been 34 millimeter tube with 56 millimeter objective mil dot scope, all right, zero uh, turrets. Guys, we already done a first impressions on this. I hope that you have watched it, all right, because uh, there's so many functions that this scope has that uh, you really need to go back and watch it. Um, and it's not going to be our, our part of our review. Part of our review, because we already done the first impressions, is I'm going to actually talk about, and by the way, this is on the 6.5 Creedmoor. Just got done doing uh, the review on the 6.5 Creedmoor. Uh, the scope mount also is a uh, Geisley uh, uh, scope mount that's fitted for this scope specifically. All right, so there's some things that we've got to talk about here. Number one, I fell with the gun. I'm a big boy too, and I fell on the scope. In fact, I put a small chip into the paint of the scope. That's how hard I fell. It was a big deal. Gun's heavy, I'm heavy. I thought, good night almighty, did I just ruin a, a, a real nice scope. What had happened was, is I actually hit the level part which made it even worse and then I kind of bumped the the other side of the scope and uh, I thought man this is this isn't good we took it out to the range on cannot beat it I tell you what we were blessed on that I I'm telling you this is uh, definitely a military grade scope with a military uh, uh, grade scope mount and it just worked out so what else do I need to tell you about it that uh, my part of my review will. The other part was is when we were collecting data on the 6.5 Creedmoor, it was raining on us. It was cold. We were having all kinds of just, I, we had to put covers over the cameras because my cameras aren't good enough to handle that type of stuff. And I take the six point, or uh, correction, I, I took the scope out the scope, it acted like it was nothing. I was I was cutting through that rain like it was nothing with this scope. Everything was in perfect uh, condition. There was and never fogged up not one time. And it was cold, and I was breathing all over this thing. It done remarkable in that uh, those weather conditions. And uh, you just can't ask for more when it comes to that. Now, uh, going further on. So I uh, when I was home a couple months ago. I had the, the opportunity of a lifetime, and I thought about it whenever it happened, but the, the moon was at its fullest, it was the brightest of the year, and there was four days straight of it. So I do, I go predator hunting with uh, night vision and stuff, but I thought to myself, man, I want to take this scope out because it's, it takes in 93% of the light, you know, if, it's the, if it can, and then my settings are so low on uh, the night vision or uh, just the uh, lit reticle that I could get it low enough to where uh, you know it I, I can it doesn't blur anything out and because it's so well made there isn't that it doesn't cause the whole uh, uh, reticle to light up either so you can actually see down it what happened well what happened was is it did work and this is the first time I've ever went hunting during the nighttime for predators with a daytime scope only and it worked magnificently we actually shot a coyote at 350 yards at nighttime. We seen them. We seen them even further out. The problem was is we don't have a good enough range finder to actually uh, to see uh, how far out they actually were to go ahead and adjust for it. And um, even though I know the mill dot system well enough, I kept second guessing myself about. Uh, the distance between uh, the the shoulders of a uh, coyote and the distance from rear to front and uh, every time I go home I tell myself I was going to find out the distance and I never did so 350 ish is uh, how far we had shot uh, we took 350 large steps and that's that's about where it was at and hit a coyote we we hit several at 2 250 100 I just cannot believe I got to hunt at nighttime with a daytime scope and we're talking out in the middle of the a pasture that has no lights around at all and I tell you what the coyotes were obviously surprised too because we were able to see them through this scope 
We tried another scope. I, you know, I'm even going to tell you what I've done. I, I tried the Leopold Mark IV, and I tried one of Vortex's uh, Vipers, and we, we could see, but there was, it was nothing like this. Nothing like this. So that is my review on Steiner to give you an idea, because I wanted to go out and I do things with it, and I'm telling you, weather conditions, I bumped it, and then I take it out at nighttime. I don't know what else to say other than, hey, look, whenever you move it, it is .36 every time you move it, all right? It's a, it's a fact. We were shooting way out there, and every adjustment I made, I shoot one time, miss, second time, I'm on target because each mil is, or point mil is a point mil, and each mil is a mil, all right? So this scope is the top of the line. Dare I say the best scope out there? I don't know. You show me one better. And maybe we'll check it out, all right? Maybe they'll send it to me, but I seriously doubt it. Love this scope. Check it out, all right? Uh, give us a like, subscribe, make us a favorite. God, family, country, all in that order. And thanks for watching.